At a subscription spot, we are having a look at the Horror Block January 2016 subscription box. Want a ton of geek-tastic, horror-related stuff coming to your house every single month? You can click the link down below, or you can go to www.horrorblock.com. One of Spot's favorite subscription boxes has arrived, and without further ado, let's grab ourselves Hank. Yes, Hank is joining us for this. We're going to get the tape cut open and find out what we got inside from the folks over at Horror Block. The box does feel heavy. Hopefully that equals really cool things inside. And it looks like this month's box is no exception, although I have not really perused inside just yet, but kind of seeing what we got so far, I'm liking it. First thing we are treated to is Obey, a t-shirt. Looks very, very cool. I believe this is from the, sh the movie They Live. It's Horror Block. It's also a shirt punch, www.shirtpunch.com. You can save 10% using this promo code, Best Shirts. Best Shirts Ever. I really like that shirt, actually. Obey. All right, so we've got the shirt. Check, check. We'll put that to the side. We also are treated to Baby Eats You Alive, the little baby that kills with kindness from Horror Block. On the top, we've got same inf same information, Baby Eats You Alive. Oh, look at that. That's creepy. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the front was an open window. That kind of caught me off guard. Hopefully I didn't scare you guys either when I did that. And let's see what this is exactly. <clears throat> well, it's a doll head. It's all one solid piece of plastic. It almost looks as if you could fit this into a doll socket. On the back it says, uh, what does that say? It says nerd block. Actually, it does say horror block. Uh, no, it says hor It says nerd block. It says nerd block. That's really nicely painted for a creepy, creepy doll head. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that just yet, but I'm sure I'll find a, a good appropriate place for it. Yes, also if you are wondering, Spot's cold is getting better. Thank you for everybody that wished me well during my time of illness. We also have, are you gravely serious when it comes to taking care of your phone? Hold calls with this spooky desktop cell phone holder. Or block exclusive. Mmm, this sounds interesting as well. Let's open this up. <laughs> nice. And there is the rip. You got a little hand sticking out there from a zombie. A single daisy. Oh, that's nice. But a nice little place I can put my phone when I'm not using it. And yes, I will indeed be using this. I'll put that to the side as well. What else do we have in here? We have a cleaver, horror block keychain. I'm getting a lot of these keychains between all the different blocks that I get every month. Get a lot of these keychains. My keys. I look like a janitor. I, well, I look like I've got a set of janitor's keys. You know when you've ever asked a janitor to help you with something in school? They pull out this big wad of keys that has, oh, I don't know, like 500 keys to it. This is basically what my keys are starting to look like. I'm not complaining. I mean, that's pretty cool, though. A little cleaver. Put that to the side. I see a film cell in here. This is a film cell from Carrie. Right at, actually, at the perfect place, too, where she gets dumped with the pig's blood. It says, if you've got a taste for terror, take Carrie to the prom. Also, have been holding on to all these little film cells as well. Very cool. Put that to the side. And doesn't look like we've got a Rue Morgue magazine necessarily, but we do have a Rue Morgue magazine's Blood in Four Colors, a graphic history of horror comics. Some of the ones notable on the side, we've got Vampirella and Hellboy. I'm not quite sure what this one is down below. A nice little coffee tail. Oh, look, there's... Morbius from Spider-Man. A nice little coffee table book. I will be making use of this. I like to have company over from time to time. I just have like little these little books and reference guides out on display. People can look at that and peruse through it. 
Okay, for this month's box, we got the Obey t-shirt from John Carpenter's birthday month. We're celebrating by enjoying all his films and couldn't resist, including this stellar tea design by Sure Punch, featuring one of the film's iconic villains, along with a not-so-subliminal message. Check out SurePunch.com for more horror t-shirts. Got ourselves a cleaver key ring. And... Well, it says, we get savvy when people try to mess with our things, and now your keys will be that way too. Keep them safe and all in one place with our exclusive Cleaver Key Ring. This metal pendant can do more as well functioning as a charm for your favorite necklace. Mm, a double purpose. A gravestone phone holder also was included. A carry film cell bookmark. And Rue Morgue number five, or actually that says number six, blood in four colors. Let's not also forget the exclusive Baby Eats You Alive. Somewhere in every haunted home, there's a creepy doll. Sometimes it follows you, sometimes it just shows up whatever room you happen to be in. Sometimes it just looks creepy, but doesn't really do anything. This doll head is certainly chilling, but is it haunted? We'll never tell. Very cool. And lastly... We're also packing in some horrific exclusives in the latest issue of Rue Morgue. February's Horror Block contains some bloody amazing items, zombie-infested exclusives from The Walking Dead. I wonder if we'd ever get exclusives from My Bloody Valentine. That would be definitely exclusives I would love. Harry Warden is still one of Spot's favorite slasher killers. If you guys have been very thrilled with the unboxing, the unboxing that we did for January 2016, don't wait. You can click the link down below and subscribe to the Horror Block. This subscription spot, we are having a look at the January 2016 Horror Block. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.